Hello and welcome to Workbook 6, the final project. Here you're going to take all the things that you've learned up through weeks 1 through 6 and you're going to begin to put them together into a final pitch deck. You, Andrew's already talked about that in a previous presentation. But I want to give you the bones of what that is going to look like for you. So it will be a separate product that you're going to create. So, it, the purpose of your uh, pitch deck is not to answer all possible questions. What you want to do is you want to get excited, uh, have them get excited about your vision, and to the point where they want to know more. Think it like you're just trying to whet their appetite. You're trying to set the hook. You're trying to ask them, get them to the point where they want to know more about what you're doing. Once you've done that, you know that you've grabbed their interest. But you haven't given them too much. You haven't overwhelmed them. So as you're thinking about your pitch deck, I really want you to keep that in mind that your goal isn't to be exhaustive. Your goal is not to give them all the slides you've done to this point. You really want to get down to about 10 to 13. And you can use your own template here, like we're suggesting. There's all different uh, websites we've given you here that you can choose from. Uh, that may look pretty good to you. So I encourage you to reach out to those places, click these links, take a look at what these contexts may look like so you can have a feel for maybe how you fashion your pitch deck. But as a minimum, these are the slides we'll be looking for as a minimum. So the elevator pitch, your momentum, traction, expertise, the opportunity, Four, problem current solutions. Five, product program or service. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> uh, your business model, your market approach and strategy, team and key stakeholders, your financials, your competition, and your ask. Now, everything you've done to this point has been to give you enough information to provide or fill in the blanks for every one of these slides. Up to this point, you now have everything you need to be able to create your, create your slide deck. You could also add some special slides in. For instance, we're talking about exit strategy. You know, is there an aftermarket, or excuse me, aftermarket, aftercare process that you may be entertaining? Maybe partnership agreements if you're going to have an, uh, a connection with the local university that's going to provide teaching services or social workers. It could be a demo. It could be existing sale. It, again, whatever you want after that, but remember, you want to not answer everything exhaustively. You just want to be able to give them enough information and what their appetites and get them, appetites and get them excited about that. So again, we'll be looking for 10 to 13 slides. And if you have any questions about this, um, feel free to reach out to your professor for the course, and we'll be talking to you later. Good luck.